I mean, obviously, it's a, it's a, a, from a golf aspect, it's a, it's a great event um, for our club and for our membership. It's something we're very proud of. Um, it's great for the community as well. Uh, you know, the, the money that it raises for the local charities that benefit our, our local youth groups, uh, you know, goes a long way towards helping them in their annual budgets. Um, but, you know, from a, from a membership from the club standpoint, you know, it's just, it's just an honor to host this. Um, you know, for Scott. Scott's uh, been around here a long time. His parents are members here, um, and he's just—he's done a lot for our club. He does so much for junior golf, and uh, you know, just to be able to to host this on his behalf and with his name on it is is, is really—it's humbling and it's 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 great for our club. First year, um, I, I kind of friended, so to speak, uh, a, the, a little girl named Angela Thin from uh, Rancho Cucamonga, California, and. You know, I, I was fortunate enough to be able to do a little work with her on the range, you know, throughout the week. And we had dinner with her one night, her and her mom. And, and you know, coming to this tournament that year, I, I believe she was 15. She had never broken par in a tournament. And her first round, she made a late double and, and shot one or two over. But then the next round, she shot 71. So that was her first ever under par round. And then the third round, I believe she shot 69. Um, she, she finished second or third, she left here, she went to New York, qualified for the U.S. Women's Amateur, made the match play, and the following year played in the, the Women's U.S. Open. So it was really cool to watch that transition, to see, kind of be here for the turning point, so to speak, of her career was, was really, really cool. So this, I, you know, I just, I kind of hope it comes down like it did last year. Um, you know, last year we had a, a great final round. Uh, by by uh, the Hall kid that's that's local here from Knoxville. I think he shot 64 or 65 the final round. He made a good push uh, for the event, but it, you know it came down to uh, you know Goodman Rudolph making a birdie on the last hole uh, to win the event. And I, I think that was he hit a he hit a fabulous shot uh, his second shot into the par five 18th and um, very exciting for everyone watching and and happen. And you know I'm just hoping for a lot of great golf and, and an exciting finish.